Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And that is my pan of colors that I just made my first wreath with the Wave Center out of. And now I am going to give myself permission to go all kinds of nuts and use way more colors, brighter colors, and add something hopefully wonderful to the mix. I need white for that. I don't know how long this will last. It's a cooler day here today, which is a really good thing as far as keeping paint from drying up quickly. So it's a guessing game right now for me. This is the color shift that's already right there. And my theory is that if I put a layer of white paint on this 14 by 14 inch canvas, that I'm going to make sure is well and truly wet, and grab another OXO omelet turning spatula to spread paint with. Best paint spreading tool around, available on my Amazon link below Show More. Thank you very much. Everybody seems to be just as happy as I am when they get one. So you might enjoy one too, I can tell you what. It definitely shows up the flaws and it makes a nice even layer. And you can choose to add more and have it be a heavy layer if you want. Which reminds me, I do have a paint pouring recipe. It is under the video and I do put GAC 800 by Golden in all of my mixes which I know they've come out with a bunch of paint pouring paint. I just don't know. Somebody should tell me if the paint ever cracks when it's left heavy because I like leaving my paint heavy and I might consider using those paints if I thought that it didn't crack. Or maybe just add the GAC 800, but they seem to be pretty expensive, just as expensive as anything else. And my paint pouring recipe has Decoart pouring medium and Floetrol, which is a latex paint conditioner in it already. So. I'm not going to worry about my edges right now. I am going to throw that spatula in the bucket. I would like this time to have something in the center of this canvas before I begin. So let me see if I can center. Mm, almost. <laughs> not bad. So my, my plan is, let's leave an impression and see what happens. There, I have an impression. That's what happens. Um, I'm going to grab the balloon, am I? Yes. And wipe it off because I soaked it in the bucket but I forgot to clean it so my apologies. And I have a couple more around here but I haven't discovered where they are because I cleaned my studio. You know how that works. So I'm going to take just, yeah, I'm going to work out from the center and try and pull that. And I'm going to take colors that won't turn to mud hopefully. And I'm going to do a different plan than the last plan. I'm going to try and spread those a little evenly. I'm going to come back over here. I don't mind those little tails on the end. I didn't wet my whole canvas last time. And I want some magenta in there. And I'm going to put some white with it too. Just so I can have... better chance at getting what I want. I'm trying not to drip. I don't know what the, what's going to come of this. Whoops. Or that. <laughs> I think that needs some, some TLC. Maybe it's time to wipe off my balloon once. Over here on an edge catcher so I can recapture the paint if I want to. What do I want over there? I want to look at the paint that I've got. And that's my new tray over there that I was that I showed in my last video from uh, Target. It's like two dollars and fifty cents. It may be larger than I want it to be, for sure. Um, okay, sort of changing my plan up here, and I want to get rid of that paint right now. I like scraping it off so I can reuse it again. I gotta say, that makes me happy. I'm trying to think about my color choices so I can uh, not make mud. 
that little card, the balloon sucks, soaks up the, uh, the paint and the card scrapes it off very nicely. So what else do I want here? That is a lot of paint right there. So this is definitely just another experiment. And I kind of think that if I had a piece of sticky wrap, you know, Sarah and stuff, on my paint tray, I might be able to keep it. I'm going to go all the way to the edge if I can. Just wipe a little bit of that. That's too yellow. But it's good for right there. Alright, so the question is now, what, are, what am I going to do next? Because I haven't really thought that far ahead. I do want to touch the edge of the canvas in a couple of places. But I don't think that's anything. So my original plan was to um, use the skewer to drag paint out from the center. So I think what I'm going to do is go back in here and just take little bits, little kisses, just barely touching into the colors and see what happens. Be nice if I was doing it more evenly. But that's kind of cool. I really want to cover that, cover my paint up. Um oh look, I have a canvas handy. That will help. So now the question is, do I put chain in there? Do I start with um I'm gonna drag it. I know it's kind of cool the way it is, I'm sorry, but I just gotta know. I had such nice little cells too, and all the all of those little petals. I could be doing this with the spatula, with the blade, the flat blade of the spatula, but I just had to try first with my bamboo skewer because it's usually my go-to tool. And I'm just going to keep going around and pulling it all the way out through the colors because I've been thinking about this in one way or another for quite a while and I just want to know what the effect will be. And at any given stage, I mean, if you get ideas along the way of some other thing to do, that's awesome. You don't have to be doing what I'm doing. Just take part of my process and make it your own. And I do expect people to go ahead and use my processes. In the past, the theory was that you can't make two things alike, but it seems like more often than not, if enough of a thing is created, things will begin to look the same somewhat. All right, so that's kind of neat. So I'm going to scrape back in from the outside because there's paint on my skewer and I want to use it to make it look as though things are radiating back in and when I don't have paint on my skewer I'll just dip don't want all my marks to be just the same. I can change direction if I feel like that's going to be helpful. I don't mind how the colors mix at the edges. I think it's kind of cool to have such random colors. Seems like I've already been around this side once, but maybe we're closer than I thought to. Uh... So I kind of like those, and I think maybe it's time to go ahead, grab my balloon, wipe it off, 
and pick a couple of colors that I like or maybe just put some of this purple that I like because I have white on the canvas as the background I'm going to take a chance and think that maybe this will work because I like that purple and I hope I don't mess this up but it is an experiment and it needs to be done I'm going to do what I did in the center of the last one and just pounce the balloon around to anywhere that seems to need it. And uh, I think I'm almost done, to tell you the truth. But I am going to do what I said I was going to do. And I'm going to use my spatula held close to the blade. And I'm going to go back and forth, even through the new balloon rolls. Because everything that changes it up is worth knowing about. And everything that's radiating continues the the look of things radiating. <laughs> Let's be redundant. Um, I kind of like that purple so much I just want some more of it. And I'm willing to risk it. just adding it right to the canvas and that's making me happy just a little bit more here and there is going to make me happy I can tell and lift your spatula up so that you have some of that paint right on it I kind of want to break up the tops of those round spots but I kind of also like them a little bit so it's like a light show kind of I mean, it's definitely not like anything I've ever done before. I do not mind breaking up the tops of those round portions that were balloon rolled. Um, that's just different, and I like different. Different is good. So this is a whole new series way of doing um, starbursts or whatever I was calling them, orbs. There's a playlist. There are actually nine, well, no, there are nine lists of 100 in my playlists on the end screens. Are there? No? You've got to go to my channel. <laughs> Click my face if you want to go to my channel. You can find Patreon and PayPal there, and uh, that's for donating to get into the monthly drawing if you want to do that. And um, you can find my playlists under Created Playlists, and click it again to, to open them all up, and you will find some cool stuff there. You will find nine playlists of 100. Well, actually, the 900 playlist only has like 40, 45, or 50, whatever. Could be more by now. In any case, there are genres. That was my original point. And the genres are geometrics and swipes and all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> Landscapes and uh, seascapes and fantasyscapes. And I'm just about to the place where I feel like I'm almost done adding what I want to add as far as colors go to make it outstanding. And I really do like what I've got. The center's a little off, and I got rid of my balloon. But look, I have this little tiny baby balloon I wanted to use anyway. So let me grab some color. I really I've always want I'm getting ready to use this baby balloon. Just to see what I can get away with. Baby balloon at the end. I'm thinking it's going to be a perfect little brush substitute. Give it one more pounce around. It's very deflated. All right, so that's, it is what it is. And uh, I got two minutes left, so I'm gonna torch. And you know me, as I go along, if I find things like that mark there that's bugging me, I'll fix it. I know probably I dragged my spatula down to the canvas and I don't really care. It's the paint is either gonna fill in or it's just going to look like it looks and uh, that's going to be okay. You could put a finished coat of gloss or, or even resin or anything or nothing and it would still be cool, I think, anyway, my opinion. So it's kind of like um, 
it's just different that's all sometimes as I go along and I'm, I'm saying I'm done I, I actually take a moment and uh, and focus on what I've done and I see things that I want to change and lots of times it's a good thing sometimes not so much but uh, mostly I'm not unhappy with the changes I make at the last second and uh, lots of times there are a few tweaks after the recording is over so if things look a little better when you see them in the thumbnail it's because it's the dry picture but that doesn't happen very often usually I use the wet one so if you're looking to make an art purchase uh, from me look for the hashtag in the title of any video and that's the file number for the wet photograph that'll help me find it for you and the number of course I do sell my artwork I do give classes to the house in Spring Hill. I am attempting to sell the designs on leggings and all over t-shirts at Teespring, which are the clothing shown below the video. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Just dragging slowly as I speak to you and trying to remember what I'm supposed to say. I like, like, I like the more radiating. I didn't really mind the white negative space either, but I really definitely like how it changes up and melds some of the colors and lets them blend in a way. And because it's a nice cool day, and I got two minutes now, because it's a nice cool day, the paint isn't going to glop as it can on other days when I'm working out outside in Florida. So this is Priscilla Batzell at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard in Florida ready for a warmer shirt actually hoping you guys stay warm this winter and uh, if you want to binge watch my videos you know where to find them they're on the channel header playlists I do uh, I do what I have Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest links at the bottom of the description under the video I have Facebook pages for Expressionist Start Studio Gallery appreciation group is for students Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors for fans and collectors um, I'd like it if you'd share my videos. It's a, it's a huge help to getting me publicized. Uh, notifications get canceled pretty often, as far as I can tell, or more often than they should anyway. So if you were getting them and you're not, check that and, and start them again if you want to. Um, also, subscriptions get canceled. I don't know how, why any of that happens. Um, I don't think it's something people are doing because my husband's was canceled and I know he wouldn't have. So, I'm suspicious. Sorry, YouTube, <laughs> Google Tube, whatever you are, conglomerate. But um, I love you guys. There's over 83,000 of you and going on 84. I'm going to be fixing up my edges for a little while. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to them. This is a little different. I want to take the point and put a few little tiny, tiny spirals in there because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link, Volume 1. Volume 2 is supposed to be coming out by Christmas, and it will be called Fluid Acrylics, Unlimited Possibilities. I love you guys. I don't mind those little spirals a bit. They're just perfect, actually. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I love all the comments you leave me. Thank you so much. You make my day. You improve my morale miraculously, and I really appreciate that because things are weird here sometimes. And... Uh, if you want to be of assistance to me, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Watch the videos longer. Or if you can manage to watch the commercials, that's a big help too. I love you guys. If you shop my Teespring and you don't find what you're looking for, check out my Facebook page, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More. And find the Shop Now button. We'll bring you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com where there's stuff I've been putting there since 2013 even if you're just curious and you want to look at my artwork it's a lot of stuff on Pinterest boards too I think I like that pretty well I think it would be very tempting to keep pulling colors out and I don't think it would hurt anything so being that you're at home and you'll have as much time as you want and you're gonna be gone if you're not gone already this is uh, me saying I'll see you guys in on check the community board on my channel header for tomorrow's listing Love you guys. See you soon. Bye for now. See, I didn't see it till I got up there.